What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here and today I will be showing you my brand new Hogwarts Boats Kinetic Mock. Now this mock relies heavily on the magnetic chain base which is created by GoBrick which is just an awesome product and I remember the first time seeing it I just knew I had to use it for my Hogwarts layout and especially for the Hogwarts Boats. Now the version that I'm using is called the Turn Course which has one big chain in there uh, which, you, which allows you to put on some boats or vehicles or whatever you like but they also have another mechanism which is called the Curve. Uh, the curve course which has two chains actually going in opposite direction so they are perfect for creating traffic or something like that which i will be integrating in my lego city as well now gobrick has sent me two versions so we got the turn course out here but i also have the curve course downstairs as well and they came with either a motor or a hand crank as well now the motor is awesome of course obviously i would prefer the motor Leia. <laughs> So obviously I would prefer the motor to have it running constantly without having to crank it out myself. Um, but anyways, the crank version doesn't uh, need to be this high. So the only uh, reason for it to be this high, for the only reason for it to be this high is because the battery or the motor has to be in there, which is pretty thick. And Leia has been stealing my bushes out here. That's why we're having a little bit less vegetation down there. So she, she stole a bunch of those. All right, now anyway, we'll be taking a look at the inside of the mechanism later in this video. First, I want to show you what these buttons do and how the boats look like as well. So first off, we got one button out here. This is to change the direction of the, which the uh, chain is going. So we can also have the boats going backwards. Now, whenever you turn the knob, it takes a while before the boats actually start to go. Now when they go backwards there is a chance that they will derail so to speak um, so we'll just put them back in the regular direction now there are various speeds out here for the boats of course a lower speed is um, more realistic uh, so a speed like this perhaps but we can also go very fast but they also might derail from that and i don't suggest keeping it on this speed for a long time as it might wear out the motor a bit but uh, i'm gonna have hagrid come around here you can go a little bit slower you can also stop the boats completely of course and i'm going back on there but so i'll now grab onto this little boat here as you can see i can just drop him out there i took the wrong magnet as you can see it just clicks in there like that so yeah down here we got our little boat here and i added two magnets out here uh, now it probably will work with only one magnet uh, but I decided to, to add two though because there are no wheels so there's a lot more friction. Now this was a real pain to have the battery box in the box, uh, inside of the boat without having it look too bulky out here. Now I think I did a pretty alright job with it. Now we still have these planks out there but uh, I don't really mind them at all that much. Now I still have to see what it will look like with some more students on there because in the real scene we got Harry. Uh, uh, we got Harry and Ron. <laughs> Harry and Ron of course. Uh, but they're also I think Dean and uh, Dean and Neville are behind them in the scene I believe I just placed them in a separate boat out there uh, because I will now start to look for uh, all of the students that I will need I do have a lot of these um, unsorted house uh, torsos out here I have a bunch of those and we're also gonna get a few new ones in the new boathouse set as well um, but so anyway so this is how I did it I also used the same technique as the Rivendell set to have the seat sitting run out here now for Harry I did something a bit different because he is seated one plate higher than Ron. I didn't want him to look too high, so for him I've used this. I can just take him off. I've used this bracket here with two thousand in the front. Now this looks a bit less realistic or a bit less uh, nice than the than the Rivendell version, but I do think that it is a pretty good solution um, for this problem, or else he would be sitting a bit higher than Ron, which might look a bit weird. So um, trying to keep the aesthetic of it all, I wanted to keep these boats because they are just so iconic. I've been looking at the source material. And um, I was thinking at first to create my own boat, but it would be too bulky, I believe, and these just look so awesome. So I think for now, it's pretty all right. It's also good that the battery box is in black, so it's not really that, um, so you don't really see it that much, especially in the dark, of course, which I will hopefully uh, be displaying it on the most. Uh, but so now, anyways, if you can see out here, we got an on and off written on this battery box. And if I just put my tweezer in the back out here, we can turn it off by clicking it to the left or to the right, like so. So that's still pretty easy. Now I will be tearing this boat apart a little bit to show you exactly how it works. Let me get some more light out here. So as you can see out here, this is the battery box which uses two of those flat little batteries, uh, three volt batteries out there. And as you can see, it's pretty high already, but it fits right underneath the border of the boat, which looks pretty all right. And then uh, we got some cone pieces out here, which are one brick high. And then I can place the, this style on there. And as you can see, there's a little bit of space, which is just perfect for the hairy figure which has a bit of a, what is it, like a half half plate 
uh, sticking out underneath here so we can still be placed in the boat without too much of a problem I still have to get those wires fixed up out there but so yeah that is but yeah anyway that is how these boats are made so they're all pretty much the same except for the one uh, for Hagrid is a bit different to fit his body in there uh, but so anyway that's how they work now let me just get this one back with the rest of them oh we got a derailed Hagrid here all right so now for the terrain as you can see for the most part we just have some 1x2 trans light blue tiles out here a bunch of them almost an entire pick a brick up or i think about an entire pick a brick up um, but so anyway on the left side you can see our boathouse which is the same from uh, my hogwarts layout downstairs so i just um slid it out, uh, slid it out of its position downstairs and put it in here with a bit of uh, some extra uh, tiles at the back there and a bit of vegetation on the left side which is missing some bushes thanks to our good friend Leia. And then in the middle there we have a bit of an island just to make it a bit more interesting out there or else we would just have one flat uh, translite blue uh, slate out there. So I just wanted to add some vegetation, a little bit of an island uh, or at least a slice of an island. Um, and then on the right side we do have a little island out here or a little rock in the middle which I just wanted to add to have them go around it. I just thought that that might look cool. Maybe we can put like a mermaid on there or something. Uh, and then on the back side, on the back right side, we also have a bit of a slice of land there, uh, which should represent the pathway where they come from Hogsmeade Station, coming to the docks and uh, boarding the boats, of course. And then I've added a little wooden pole there uh, with this little wooden owl, another light in there as well. And uh, all of the lights out here are from Game of Bricks. Uh, if you've been following me, you know that that one is made by, uh, with lights from Game of Bricks. Now, all of the rest out here as well, apart from the battery boxes, which I had to order on AliExpress as a game of bricks is not yet creating any of those smaller battery boxes all right now before removing the base i'm gonna remove these boats here like that then i'll have to remove this base here which i've added myself using some masonry bricks uh, but first off let's try to remove our little boathouse here which is not the easiest Ugh. like this so as you can see now out here we have some Technic pins and also a wireless connector out there to connect the lighting of the boathouse. Now then I can just lift this up here like so. Then we have this base out here which I've created myself with just a hollow base here. So yeah I'm going to remove the tree as well because it tends to fall over easily. And then we're going to get to the harder part which is, well it's actually not that hard. So here, this is the first one, we got a few tiles flying away here. But anyway, so this is the first one you can see here, we have the turn mechanism, which is, uh, we got these two out here coming in, uh, in the middle of each uh, half here. Then they make a full turn, full 180 here. And as you can see, we got this mechanism out here, and the base that we have here, which is one brick uh, high, has a similar uh, cutout underneath here. So we got our chain, which uh, sticks out a bit of this mechanism here. And so uh, that is so we can have as small as a distance possible here between the magnet uh, between the magnet and uh, between the two magnets actually. Um, so as you can see, we got this small thing out here, which is looks like it's a base plate thick, uh, and then a tile on top of it. So we have a base plate and one tile thickness. So we got a good magnetic connection going on out there. And you got to make sure as well that you're using the same uh, shape on top here uh, as the mechanism that is going on underneath there as well. Now one thing I have to say, this company GoBrick produces their own bricks. So this is not official Lego, but this is definitely the best quality that I've seen so far in fake Lego. So I haven't noticed any changes, like it feels exactly the same. I believe they're using a similar ABS type of plastic, but it's just really awesome. It fits really well. We don't have any... Um, extreme clutch power we don't have too a little clutch power so it's just perfect it really reminds me of just regular lego uh, so this is really really awesome that is one of the things that i'm, I'm really glad about with this product uh, but so anyway let's move the middle section here and there you will see the motor let's see like this so as you can see we got the motor going on but i will be removing everything at first here now with this one i've got to be careful because we have some lighting cables which are not really well hidden as you can see out here all right, so here we have it, the mechanism. As you can see in the middle, we have the motor. 
with um, a cable running through our control here as well as a cable running to uh, my DC connect but there is also a battery box included which you can hide I'm not sure if you can hide it in this mechanism but I've used the battery box in the other mechanism where there is a lot more room because it is double the size of this one out here but so anyway now you can have a good look at how this works so you can see this big wheel out here when you whenever you spin the button here you will see it starting to turn it always takes a while so you can put it in this speed I'll put it in top speed for a moment so you can see it runs really smoothly now GoBrick has sent me a message that they're working on a new chain which should be a lot less uh, loud so I'm really uh, wondering what that is gonna be like uh, but so anyways we'll take a look here at the chains you can see uh, I can get the chain out of here easily you can also easily take them apart and um, rearrange these magnetic uh, little pieces out here as well now this uh, this turn mechanism here came with a bunch of those so I still have a lot of them uh, which I can connect to other places but as you can see out here we got the starting point for Hagrid as you can see like this you can line them up with the two magnets like so you can add another one out here as well now I don't recommend putting something on here but for the sake of the video I will just show it like this and we got the other one out here and out here now I've used the distance of six uh, chains between each of the first magnetic ones of each boat uh, just have a, a bit of a similar distance but it can be uh, rearranged and um, repositioned at any uh, moment very easily so that's uh, a very big plus now I'd still have a few left out here I have a few more ideas of some things that might be chasing them or some other scenes uh, but so anyway now you see how that works you can take them off and as you can see the magnets are pretty strong you see this one even got stuck out there so these are pretty strong magnets which is just perfect uh, for what I want to do with it and then out here in the middle I can take this gear off of here as well this is how you install it just lift it up remove the chains like that very easily uh, to put it back exactly the same and these all of these parts are just the quality is just amazing this comes from Korea and I just I'm, I really love the quality of this it just seems like a, a genuine Lego product and now uh, this is still a prototype even so they're still working on some new innovations and stuff so I'm really really digging that and now from out here you can also see the modularity of this product which is just amazing uh, out here we have this 180 uh, turn we have two straight ones out here but the other uh, curved mechanism that I have downstairs also has a nice S uh, or a nice curve out here which then also can be attached to another one uh, make creating an S curve with this one at the end here uh, which I was talking about earlier which I want to include in my Hogwarts layout uh, but so anyways the possibilities are endless you have this one you also have the one uh, with two um, mechanisms which go around like this it's just insane so the the possibilities are just endless which is why I really really love this product but yeah guys so far today's video on my lego kinetic mock here using this amazing product by gobrick now if you're interested in buying this product yourself be sure to check out the link in my bio and uh, be sure to stay on the lookout for this company because i believe they have a lot of big things coming uh, they're looking to have some distribution centers in europe to cut the cost as well for shipping uh, as well as the tax cost because i had to pay unfortunately i had to pay some taxes uh, on this as well uh, because it, it came from outside of the European Union but so anyway guys if you have liked this video be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and leave a comment let me know what you think of my mock of this product and let me know what you would do with it if you had the chance to use one of these mechanisms thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one